Alright, hey viewers, this is WatchMeSC, and I am bringing you another League of Legends commentary. This time we have a 2v2. We have Janna, and where is that little guy? Where is he? Where is he? That's him, and Teemo. And I am trying out the Alt Minus um, feature suggested by a viewer. So thanks a lot for that. It's going to make these videos a lot more easy to watch and record. So kudos to you for knowing that. And thanks for the tip. Sorry I don't remember your name. But I'm going to get back in the game real quick and see what John has. Uh, Mackie Pendant and one health, one mana potion. Looks like Teemo's kind of hanging out here. I don't know what he's doing. He's got the Vampiric Scepter. <clears throat> and when the other two pop out, I will show those. Um, we have uh, the skills are uh, Teemo and Janna both have Flash and Teleport. And then the other two opponents are Annie and Shen. Annie has Ignite and Flash. Shen has Flash and Teleport. So, this should be a good battle. I think it's going to be good. I don't know what Teemo is doing. Where is he? Teemo, what are you doing? Did he sit? Did he get enough? Yeah, I guess he waited the extra 5 seconds or 10 seconds to get the health potion. But I don't know if that's really worth it. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. In time to before one kill gets, he's probably gonna lose a little bit of experience. And now I'm gonna wait for those two to show up. I changed the rules for these matches just because I'm gonna do a lot of test matches right now <clears throat> and see how everything works out. So looks like they were doing some jungling because uh, he's taking a little bit of damage and he's got the regeneration be or ju re blah 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 blah, rejuvenation beads and three health potions, and he's got the Doran's ring and a health potion. So now I'm going to minimize this to keep an eye on the action. So we got the shield up there on Bob Fatty. Ender is a good uh, good teammate to play with. He's pretty good with using the shield. And it looks like they already got a fair amount of damage on Kanshinabon here. I'm going to try to call them by uh, one, just the character names, but I'm going to end up calling them by both. So I'm just going to try to minimize that now as I go. So Shen just already used one of his three health potions. And Teemo has the shield on, so he should be able to go up for some damage. Dan is putting down the tornado, dealing a bunch of damage to the creep. I think they're going to have a pretty good time here clearing the creep. And that was a good hit there by Bob Fatty. And he's uh, doing some good harass here with the poison, dealing enough damage, or dealing solid damage. Nice connection there with the tornado, dealing some more damage to Annie. Looks like this is going to be uh, pretty close to a blowout. Both of these champions don't look like they're ready for this type of format. Or maybe they're just unfamiliar. It looks like they got a nice stun off and an ignite there. And he hits uh, Teemo with a good combo, makes him pop a potion. So that was his only potion, but he does have the Vampire Acceptor giving him some health. It looks like he popped his second health potion already. So Shen is already running pretty low here. Let's uh, double check. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's only got one potion left. Blinding shot. Obviously, it's the most. Uh, obvious decision for Teemo there in the second slot, especially after Poison is already introduced, and it looks like Bob Vady might go down here. He got an Ignite? No, it looks like uh, Shen, oh yeah, I forgot Shen doesn't have an Ignite, so he couldn't do that extra damage that was needed there. Bob Vady's got the shield up, Enderman's staying in the back, his mana's getting a little bit low here, but he connected with Annie. Tower's not taking much damage here, but the champions are definitely being pushed back. Teemo taking a pot shot at Shen there. <clears throat> Tornado slowing down the creep and giving them a slight positional advantage here. Allowing them to be a little farther forward. Teemo needs to be careful of that taunt. And it looks like he was aware of that this time. He's already He got hit by it once, but I don't think he's going to let it happen again. They're doing a great job clearing creep here. He's spreading the poison around, which is not great for last hitting, but it is good for getting more damage on more units because the poison doesn't stack. Tornado going down again. Going to connect with Shen there. Puts him pretty low, probably around 250 at most. <clears throat> Annie's got full mana. She hasn't really been doing much here at all. So she might have a potential for a little bit more burst damage, but Bob Fatty's health is almost back at full now, so even with her burst, she might not be able to kill him. Looks like Shen went back there, came back. Let's see what items, if any, he bought. Just connects with that taunt. And I'm going to go ahead and move, see what he's got. Looks like he upgraded to the Emblem of Valor, which is going to give a decent amount of health regen, 
aura to Annie as well. That's going to definitely help them out. Looks like Enderman's deciding to go back now. Bob Batty's going to be able to gain a little bit more experience, but Enderman has teleport, so he's going to be able to go back, or come back to the battle really quick. And now we'll see if he decides to come back using one of the minions, or if he decides to come back using the tower. Looks like he decided to choose the minion, and smartly decided to choose the minion that was being targeted there by Annie. I don't know if that was a conscious decision or just luck, but it ended up in their favor. Connected with Annie, I would assume, yep. I think that connected with Annie. And now that Shen's over here in the bushes, uh, Annie's not receiving the benefit from his health regen, and now they're separated. And Timo's able to push Shen back. Shen's going to have to go back around the side over here, and he's going to be losing out on some experience there. And that's pretty valuable in a game like this. Looks like he's going for the stun there on Enderman, but Bob Fatty is dealing a lot of DPS to Shen, and <clears throat> that was not a good trade for uh, the purple team there. And he popped her health potion. Let's see where we're... Let's see. Look at the overall state of the game right now. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was a print screen button. Let's do a little movement there. And um, Bob Fatty's got no potions left. Enderman has both of his potions, or two potions now, after he decided to come back. Sorry, I didn't check his items. And it uh, looks like Annie still hasn't gone back. And her damage is slowly adding up. Not that much there. Uh, about one-fifth, but it's going to add up quicker than the zero damage that they've dealt there. But one thing Bob Fatty has to be aware of is if they hit level 6, they're definitely going to be able to... Oh, it looks like Crunch Shinovon might go down here if they got a flash. Someone's got a flash. Oh, did neither of them... If, if one of them had flash, I think they could have got the kill there. But Shen's going to be going back now. Looks like he's staying. I don't know, that's pretty risky. If that tornado hits him, that could be... Could be game. Teemo sneaking in some turret damage there. Enderman's going in for the kill. I don't think that's the right move. He needs to come back. Waste his flash there, Bob Fatty waste his flash there. Both of them might have had flash up at that moment, and they should have used it to kill Shen in the previous instance instead of using it there to escape. And that did a lot of damage, and uh, Annie doesn't want to take any more of that, but she's about to become level 6, and <clears throat> Enderman could be in a lot of trouble here. Even with the shield up, he doesn't have much health. And he connects with another tornado, leaving Annie at sub-100 hit points, and she is definitely going to be going back here. Enderman standing confident in his position. Obviously, Teemo went back, and he's going to be back in a minute. And he's probably running back because his teleporter might not be up back yet. So, looks like Shen's back, though. His teleport wasn't up either. Now he's going to push Enderman back. Damn it. He's going to push Jana back here. But now, I think, is the time for them to push. And they're going to be targeting Crunch Shinobani. He might be able to get the kill here. They can chase him through the brush. I think they should. Bob Fatty looks like he's going around. Enderman's getting a hit on him. Looks like Bob Fatty's going to be able to catch him here. Let's see what he... What's he... Oh. What's he got? Um, he got boots there. And same thing, Emblem of Valor to get some uh, good HP re regen. And uh, I got a message from Damon there. Sorry I didn't respond. I'll respond after the game. I'm commentating. Looks like the tower's about to go down. And I think that's about to be it. Yep, that's it, viewers. This was a total domination. Sorry, guys. Uh, well, sorry to pretty much... Whatever. Take it for what it is. That's GG, and I'll see... Well, how the hell did I get up here? I'll see you guys next time.